Hey, what? What are you doing up there? You said it's from the bamboo. Ah, uh, not with those. Put those away. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brett Raymer from the hit show Tank, and you need to watch my guys, Jack and Dan. Those guys are off the charts, and you guys will enjoy what those guys bring to the table. All right, so we did a video about this young lady here um, eating some of the bamboo up here on top of the aqua cave. Um, you have to pardon the glare, but it's in the middle of the day here. And there wasn't a lot of zucchini available. We were able to get some, though and we stocked up on it and so what we did is we removed that and then we showed in the other video i'll put a link in the description how we put that in its own pot what we did do though if you've never seen our bromelade video jack and i did a video where we took some bromelade pups out of the bromelade plants that we bought last easter for grandma and grandmary and these pups have grown pretty substantially so if you've never seen bromelade it's very cool i'll put a link in the description of that video as well and these guys have made a great little centerpiece up here along with our bamboo and our wonderful fish there so it opened up all this area here in the middle so that of course i stigy and the fish and everybody has room to um go there now i did have to take some bricks and we put those in here just to make sure that that was weighted down a little better. You have to remember that that air pocket in there causes that aqua cave to float tremendously. Yeah. And we have to put weight on there to hold it down, don't we? Yes. So we try to use glass so that the light shines through, but we did put some bricks because the glass slides around and then that way it holds and the it. turtle moves it too. Yeah, she still slides it around. So, we're gonna be doing an update on all this, but what we wanted to do real quick is talk a little bit more about what's going on here. As you can see here, a lot of this bamboo is growing and hitting the ceiling, so we wanted to trim it. We're not gonna use trimmers. <laughs> we're gonna show you how we're gonna do it though, right? And as you can see here, we've trimmed quite a few of these in the past, and this is a good example here. Another one will just start to grow. And so we can trim those down and we'll show you what, how we trim them and we're gonna show you what we do with them. We're also gonna show you how we water these bromelades. These are gorgeous, gorgeous plants. Yeah, now this one's really tall touching the ceiling. Go ahead and trim that one. Just gonna cut that off. Look how easy that is to do. So this is gonna be left here and more will grow out just like this one did and they'll get taller. That's a real nice one there, huh? Yeah. Look at that one. And that, the, again, that one's gonna go over there in Cap's tank. Here's more of a bird's eye view here from the top of the tank. Basically what we did is we just took some of these pups, smaller ones. The way that these bromelades reproduce is they have a little tiny plant that comes out here and you take the little tiny one out and you replant it and it gets big again. And you get these beautiful flames up top like this. And there's all different kind of bromelades. Some are all different colors, but we had two that were, um, pretty well matching so we put them up here thought that they would decorate the top we have the top reinforced with some tiles and that so that it will uh, you know be able to hold the weight basically what you do with these guys you just take a little plastic cup like this and you pour the water into the cups is what they refer to it as so you just take the water and you kind of fill the plant up like this and it just kind of fills up and you just kind of keep it full. They're like a tropical plant. And you only have to do that about once a week or so, maybe twice a week, depending on how hot it is. And these guys get, I'm gonna come down here, quite a bit of sun um, from the bottom of the tank shooting up through the back there. And also, it's just a very well-lit room and there's a lot of reflection off the ceiling. And if it's not a very sunny day, we'll just turn one of these ceiling fans on here and they'll get quite a bit of light. And if we notice one side not doing as well, we can just kind of turn them around and rotate them, too. So that works pretty well, too. I think they look pretty good up there. What do you think, kiddo? I think they look fashionable. Fashionable? The fish likes it. The big fish. <laughs> one of the cool parts about having these right up here is we can actually water them from the fish tank. So we can just take a little cup like this, take some of the water, and we can put that right up in here in the plant. And the cool part about that is, is the plant is then getting a lot of the nutrients from the fish and turtles. So this water is already dechlorinated and everything like that. 
and basically it's going to be a little healthier for the plant. Also, when we do water, about once a week or so, we rotate these plants. I just kind of turn them about counterclockwise, like so, and that way they're getting light on all sides, kind of more evenly, you know? So that's a good thing to do too. All right, so that looks a lot better now. We got them kind of trimmed up there. The bromelades are all turned and looking good. And we're gonna be doing a video tonight when we have no glare here, where we're gonna talk about all these guys finally in this tank, give an update on it, and also do a nice little feeding video, which everyone's you know, been waiting for and asking us about because we haven't been able to in a while. But now we're gonna head over to Cap's tank, right, buddy? Yes. Put that um, bamboo in his tank. The top of Cap's tank looks like all the pothos is coming out of these pieces of slate that we drilled. We didn't fill every single hole. As you can see, there are some here that were not filled. So we're gonna take this bamboo and we're gonna put it in those holes to give even more bamboo up here. All you really have to do is, if you got these leaves that are real low like this, you can actually just take those off. They come off real easy. There you go. And you just take the little stalk like this and you put it in one of these holes. And I'm gonna put this one over here in this guy right here. And as you can see, that's gonna look really cool. That'll end up growing and also growing roots down. You can see down here in Cap's tank where that comes through. See it sticking in right there? I'm wiggling it. Oops, I'm wiggling it right there. It's gonna go down in there and it's gonna grow roots. And we're just gonna, whenever we have bamboo from the other tank, we're just gonna put it in here. We'll probably use it with some other tanks too. And ultimately what that does is, it just helps to pull a lot of the toxins out. And so the fish, the more that they basically eat and go to the bathroom, the more it fuels your plants and the more your plants pull that out. Now, if you have plants in a tank like this and you're like, well, the plants aren't doing that good, what you can do you can actually overfeed your fish. If you feed your fish more, they'll go to the bathroom more and they'll yeah. give more nutrients to your plants. And so it's just I know a cycle. That sounds weird, but it's actually not. They'll just dispose more so it's fertilizer for the Right. You just gotta kinda keep an eye on things. Look at Cap, he's doing so good. How you doing, kiddo? Look at him. Jack's gonna put one in there now. There's a little hole next to that one. We're gonna put another one in there. Isn't that cool? and we're just gonna fill those holes. And the other thing we can do is some of these um, vines are pretty small and we can fit more in with some of those other ones. So we'll just throw those in there, you know? And there's quite a bit of holes that are still open here too. Look at Cap, he's watching us. He's like, what are you guys doing? He looks cool from the top, doesn't he? Yeah. So yeah, there'll just be more plants and more of our tanks. And it's kind of cool because you can just propagate more of these kind of things. Isn't that neat? And as you get more and more plants growing, you just put them in other tanks. And it's very inexpensive and they actually help to clean your tank and stuff like that too. So really, really, really cool. There's a side shot. You can see how this one is. This one's pretty tall. And that goes right down in there. And so that piece of slate that we drilled holes in just kind of holds that. All right, so there's Cap's tank. He's got his kind of bottom lights on there. All the pothos. Um, we have not really trimmed any of the roots yet in here. We're gonna let them grow. If they do get out of control, we'll just kind of reach in the top and trim them. Um, but the plecos and the snails are kind of eating some of those things as they grow a little bit. So they're kind of keeping some of it under control. If it does get so incredibly full that we can't even, you know, the, fish can't even maneuver anything, we'll probably trim some of it. We have really haven't had to yet. You can see the bamboo here at the top kind of sticking out, and again, those will just continue to grow. There's a piece from last time, and then the three pieces we added this time. And we'll just kind of continue to do that. Look how crystal clear this tank is. We have had this tank set up for several months now, through the entire winter. I would say six, seven, eight months now, probably. Uh, kind of lose track of the time with everything going on. And we have not done a single water change. We did add sand, we did a little update on that a couple weeks ago, and honestly, we just don't do any water changes. We just kind of top it off as we need to. We did put the filter in there, a little sponge filter in the back, because this 
tank gets quite warm because this is the room that we have the wood burner in. And so it does get pretty hot, especially at night when we fire it up and it was just kind of clouding up a little and having too much bacteria growth. So anyway, I am gonna maybe try to take the filter out, I don't know. I mean, honestly, you can't even see it and it gives some air and movement, so we might just leave it in there. So there you go, looks pretty cool. And we'll keep taking that bamboo and other plants out. We'll probably take some of this pothos out, put it in other plants, just kind of trade it on throughout all the other tanks. Well, we hope that you found this helpful. If you're not using plants in your tanks, we highly recommend that you do. We've always kind of used plants. They just it, look cool. Yeah, and they help with water quality, and they give you oxygen in your house, and they beautify things. I mean, look at this beautiful tank. We love this. It's one of our favorite tanks in the house. However, it can be difficult with turtles and things like that. They tend to dig them up and stuff like that. So you just have to be careful. That's why we situated the ones that we did the way that we did in the other tank. We're going to be doing updates on the big tank here coming up soon. We're going to talk about all the guys in there. We're also going to do a little bit of a feeding video and possibly have Mickey do a little flute, a little live flute playing with that too, because that was really special. We did that on this tank. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description as well, where we fed uh, the tank and uh, Mickey played his Chinese flute. It was beautiful. Bamboo flute. His bamboo Chinese flute. Very, very cool. So that'll be coming up as well, probably next week or, or two weeks away. We hope that everybody's doing okay. Keep working on these wonderful house projects. If you're in lockdown, find lots of healthy, wonderful things like this to do. We will see you next time, guys. Be safe and be well. Bye-bye.